Hello, this is Cliff Godwin and I'm managing business suite development at Oracle. And with me today is Lenore Siegler, who is responsible for product management for our logistics and asset lifecycle management products. So welcome, Lenore. Hi, Cliff. Good to be here. So today we are going to talk about the newest product we have in the logistics area, which is Oracle Yard Management. So Lenore, tell us, what is Oracle Yard Management? What do we have in this product? Well, it's very exciting. Oracle Yard Management is a new product for our eBusiness Suite product of applications. It's recently come out in release 12.2.4, and it's kind of the missing link, or the last link in the supply chain process. Yard management actually helps companies manage their parking yards, as I call them. And this could be distribution centers or things for shipping containers and uh, or production facilities um, where trucks come in and out and you need to manage the trucks and the assets within those trucks. So basically Oracle Yard Management helps automate those transactions of truck check-in, check-out, and the contents in those trucks can be managed as they come into the yard, as well as where they should actually go. Should they go to a parking space? Should they go to the dock door to get ready to get shipped out? And it can also be integrated with automation systems such as RFID and real-time location system. And that's very exciting. That integration can really help streamline the process. As trucks come in, imagine a sensor being on the truck and that actually getting captured at the check-in time. It can reduce check-in time from minutes when someone actually has to have a clipboard out, going through papers and talking to the driver versus it actually just censoring that driver coming in. There's already a scheduled dock appointment which could be managed through Oracle Yard Management and that truck just comes through and gets automatically checked in. Then there's an also another important operation within Oracle Yard Management which is the sealing and unsealing. Um, contents of trailers and trucks have to be examined and make sure when they arrive that they're properly, the contents match what was supposed to be there. So sort of like a quality inspection, they call it sealing and unsealing. So that's also an integral part of Oracle Yard Management. And then finally getting those trucks out again. Mm -hmm. So actually doing the, uh, the resealing and then checking those trucks out and getting them to their final destination. The nice thing about us, uh, our product with the Yard Management, is it integrates nicely with um, Oracle Warehouse Management. Uh, and also Oracle Transportation Management. So, but it can also integrate with Oracle Inventory Management. So there's a lot of different options that eBusiness Suite users, either um, existing users or brand new users can use to use Oracle Yard Management. Now, why, why do companies need a yard management system? What are really the benefits of this product kind of in, in business benefit terms or financial terms? Yes, from a business benefit perspective, uh, just think about thousands of trucks every day. We see them on the highway and the roads as we're driving around ourselves. Thousands of trucks, um, thousand containers on ships. All these trucks and trailers and containers have products that have to get somewhere and have to get there on time. Some of the things are perishable. You might have you know, food uh, and other type of things or high priority orders, high cost orders. All this assets, whether it's, it's products and the trailers themselves are an asset, need to be managed properly so that they efficiently get to and from where they're supposed to be. And there's a lot of cost and overhead involved in managing those assets. So uh, it's, think of it like an airport, air traffic control. This mm -hmm. is really a yard traffic control type of system. Yards mm -hmm. are very busy places. So large yards can have thousands of parking spaces and many dock doors. And when a truck comes in, they need to know where they need to go and be on time. Believe it or not, trucks get lost sometimes. Mm -hmm. That can cause a huge ripple f effect in the supply chain, mm -hmm. right? You know, uh, customer delivery delays and very upset customers. Mm -hmm. uh, so these yard management systems really help keep track of that. And in most recent years, it's only been the largest corporations that have uptaken yard management systems. There's still many companies out there today that are doing this manually through spreadsheets and walkie talkies. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of personnel that works in a yard and they help direct you know, the trucks to the right parking spaces or to the right dock door. And again, a lot of that's done manually with a, with a system like yard management and Oracle yard management that can all be done in an automated fashion. They can carry around rugged tablets and they're getting the information that the truck is checking in, where the truck needs to go, whether it's scheduled to be at the dock, things like that. It also helps keep costs low as far as the truck itself is an asset, uh, as you can imagine. It needs to ship goods from one place to another, but then it's got another appointment. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times what happens is that, you know, trucks can rack up a lot of detention charges mm -hmm. if they are not out of that yard when they're supposed to be and on to their next destination. So a yard management system makes sure 
that those detention charges are kept to a minimum and that trucks are in and out as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's really capacity utilization for the trucks as well as not incurring the sort of overcapacity charges that you have if you stay too long in a place you don't need to be. That's right. That's right. And then just the overall supply chain visibility, mm -hmm. you know, to see the contents of what's actually in these trucks and trailers. Mm -hmm. People in your purchasing department can now, now that we are checking it in, will know the contents of that trailer. So the purchasing department say, oh, yay, this has finally arrived. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people in the warehouse know that it's coming, so they're getting ready to actually stock it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe perhaps it's not even going into the warehouse. It's actually going to get cross-stocked right at the dock and getting put onto another shipment and sent out to somewhere else. In maybe a manufacturing type of environment, there's campus-style yards. Uh, think of things that uh, a company that has multiple buildings that might span miles, mm -hmm. right? And they have raw materials being made in one facility that has to get transferred to another facility. So again, a yard management system can help with those campus style environments mm -hmm. to make sure that product is getting shipped from, you know, one company's um, location to a production plant for that same company. Mm -hmm. So again, just managing the, and getting that visibility to everybody from the yard jockeys, they're the people that actually work in the yard, all the way to these yard supervisors, to production supervisors, and, you know, all the way up to procurement uh, people mm -hmm. who are looking for that product. Right. So um, it sounds like we've talked about a number of use cases here about uh, cases where that would be important, um, the campus style you just mentioned and so forth. So what, what types of industries is this really going to be most applicable to? I mean, give you a little breakdown of that. Right. So obviously very large companies that have very large yards that have 500 plus parking spaces and, you know, 10 plus dock doors are going to benefit greatly from that. And I mentioned earlier, they're usually the first companies that already have uptaken a yard management system. Um, but there's still many that haven't taken up one like Oracle Yard Management. But we're finding that even small and medium sized businesses can benefit from a yard management system because some may have constrained space and constrained real estate. So more importantly than ever, for them to maximize the in and out of those trucks because they don't have, you know, hundreds of, of parking spaces or multiple dock doors that they can hand in. They got to make sure that they're scheduling everything ahead of time and know what's coming in and out so they can maximize that space. So we're really seeing that even smaller and mid-sized companies can benefit from a yard management system, plus the automation and accuracy of data. As I mentioned, manual systems are prone to error because it's done from, you know, you know a lot of times there's a lot of paperwork human interaction and it's very prone to enter. A lot of this transactions that can be automated, it's really going to make things more efficient, faster, and, and, and absolutely more accurate. Mm -hmm. So uh, you mentioned that some companies have already uptaken a yard management system and um, I imagine there are point solutions out there for this. So what, what's the key benefit or key reason to use something like Oracle Yard Management rather than some uh, solution that's out there already for right. this type of problem? There are some excellent uh, you know, point solutions out there today. Uh, that have been in the marketplace for quite a while that companies have taken up. But Oracle Yard Management, because it is an enterprise-wide solution, it integrates seamlessly into our transportation management and warehouse management solutions. So those advanced features that you get with transportation management, such as optimizing your scheduling loads, so making sure that products are getting in and sorted properly and actually getting loaded in the trailer and if, you know, the proper uh, basis, meaning you know, what ones are getting dropped off first, second, third, mm -hmm. Transportation management has a lot of very nice, sophisticated algorithms to make sure that your loading sequences are done properly. You can also do dock appointment scheduling in transportation management, and or you can do it in Oracle Yard Management, but that seamless integration exists. Same thing with warehouse management. We have wave planning and, and pick, pick rules and a lot of other logistics features that can integrate directly into Oracle Yard Management to make sure that your dock is scheduled appropriately and matching up with those trucks that are coming in hour by hour, day by day. Mm -hmm. So that seamless integration is not something you would get with one of these point solutions. You would have to use, uh, you know, some sort of system integrator to make that happen. So again, mm -hmm. it's, it's that enterprise level data, the mm -hmm. operational data mm -hmm. that you get just by being part of VBS. Right, and well, value chain execution systems. Right, right. It's a really critical area to automate, but it's not the kind of thing where you would really look to uh, hire a system integrator, customize a system, build out all sorts of, you're really looking to solve the problem and preferably with a way that has as little additional setup as possible. Exactly. And you know, with something like yard management, you're relying on all the setup you've already done for say warehouse management or inventory exactly. or transportation management and you can just kind of treat this as the last mile problem, just gluing those things together through yard management. That's right. It's much more out of the box, seamless integration versus having to connect those dots um, separately. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, it's a, definitely a value add to have an integrated solution as well as all the costing things, accounting things that happen behind the scenes that you just get for free mm -hmm. with being part of an integrated solution. Mm -hmm.
Well, very good. Well, thanks, Laura, for the update on yard management. It's a very exciting product, and we're very thrilled about it. Uh, looking forward to seeing uh, customers uptake that. And uh, so with this, we'll uh, uh, conclude the session. So thanks for listening, and until next time, this is Cliff Godwin.